So I'm actually excited to show you the Russian snacks because just thinking about the snacks that I'm gonna give you today, I'm getting excited. Like I'm thinking about my childhood. I have a feeling that uh, Team USA snacks are going to win solely because they've been handcrafted and pumped full of chemicals to make them the perfect level of desirability. Whereas Russians are like, boy, I add more vinegar, more vodka. It's just gonna be natural. You're just gonna feel salt or you're gonna feel sugar. Let's I always had the it. best snacks on the playground. You guys trade snacks on playgrounds? In American elementary schools, everyone's like, I'll give you a pudding cup for your Lunchable. We had like cigarette trades Sorry. on our playgrounds oh, and like people were like trading like bottles of liquor on our playground. All right, snack number one, we have the Pop-Tart. It is awesome because it can count as a snack and a breakfast. I have Pryaniki. It's basically like a Pop-Tart except better. It's got like a beautiful decoration. It's like gingerbread flavor and then it's got Filling. I'm sorry, this could literally count as a weapon. Yeah, so usually you would share that with tea. Mm -hmm. Do I have something in my face? Yeah. No, no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> oh wow, that's actually pretty good. Melting your mouth, not something like that. Like that takes a while to chew. Yeah, let's, let's just show the difference in like bread and jam ratio. You see this filling tastes like more Natural. I'm gonna have to go with this just because I think the filling is like delicious. I'll and actually it's side with this. The next snack we have the delicacy hot pockets, which could either be a delicious pocket of pizza or an atomic bomb of paint. Here we have pirajok. It's with meat and onions chopped up together. It's sort of baked in this like croissant that's Russian style. It's pretty good. It just tastes like um, is it chicken? Yeah. It just tastes like chicken and some bread. Russia right. does way too much bread. That's not logical. Look at look at all that stuffing. That's how much filling is in there? The rest of this is bread. This is good. I like that food. Beef friggin' jerky. What do you got? Taranka. People love this. You go to the banya, which is like a spa, and you have a beer, and you eat this dried fish. And it's, honestly, I'm gonna warn you, it smells. The smell in this Push room is gonna like, oof. Don't be rude to my culture, Oh, okay? I'm so sorry. Fish is just so gross. I don't even like it cooked. Wow, it smells, I smell it from here. You're ruining my beef jerky experience. You have to eat sort of like the top. Like there's a bone here, so you sort of eat. Children cannot eat snacks with bones in them, Russia. See, in America, we aren't even allowed to have Kinder Surprise eggs. They're worried that American children will swallow the toys inside of Kinder Surprise eggs. <laughs> That's why you, I can't. You have to peel it, and then you sort of have it like that. Is it like string cheese, but string fish? No, really? <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Are you serious? That stuff is great. You have to be in the mood for that type of stuff. If, if I it. was drunk, I would be pissed that I was getting bones in my teeth and that I had to work for this. <laughs> if I was stoned, I would get frustrated trying to peel it. I would give up. There is no practical application for this snack in my life. A siroc is like a little, it's like a cold cheesecake covered in chocolate. It's amazing. We have the all American can withstand the apocalypse snack, Twinkies. That's pretty good. Is this supposed to be like frozen? Yeah, a little bit. Boom! Yeah. Okay, this is good. Oh no! It's so good, but my fingers just smell like fish. <laughs> My throat like burns from this Twinkie that's not normal. The Twinkie, I can have a bite of it. It's really heavy for me. This, I could just kill like three of them. Sukhariki, dried bread, man. It's like croutons with flavor. But we got pretzels. You know what it tastes like? Dried bread with salt? Yeah, exactly. It's garlicky, it's herbaceous, it's crunchy, it's oily. I stand. These are good. Right? Mm -hmm. I used to love them. And there's Amazing. all kinds of flavors. 10 out of 10 would definitely pick these over pretzels. I think I'd choose the long croutons over the pretzels. Cheetos, which are dried. Bubliki. They're based. Did, <laughs> please say that, repeat that back for me. <laughs> Bubliki. <laughs> Wait, shut the f It's, you're saying boob? <laughs> Licky? <laughs> this tastes like if you took those old graham crackers that you have in the back of the cabinet for like three years that you forgot about that left you left open. And then you took them and you ground them up and you put some water and then you made these little circle things and then baked them. That's actually how they make them. It's not too sweet. It's good. I don't know. It's too much. Too much cheese. So how do your fingers look? That is the Cheetos signature, y'all. These are amazing. 
I would lick my fingers for these. Mermelade. This is like jello with sugar and it tastes like lemon and it's amazing and you have it with tea, you dip it in tea and then it gets all soft and all the sugar gets in your tea and then it like melts in your mouth and it's beautiful and it's amazing and it's so delicious. Oreos. It is a chocolate cream cookie. I can't say anything. The Oreos are great. I mean, it's even better if you just dip it in some milk. Mmm, 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 mmm. It tastes like a lemon air freshener. That's good. I'm not really a big lemon fan, but I like whatever this is. They're both delicious. What are these called again? Marimilad. Marimilad. We got Jolly Ranchers. <gasps> it's just a little, uh, little fruit candies. This is a rooster on a stick, and whenever you go to a movie theater or you go to like a circus, circuses are very popular back home, you always get this. It's so freaking good. I just suck his little head. <laughs> Stop it! Don't know what flavor it is. What flavor is it? I don't know what flavor it is. Nobody knows. It's just it's like a Peter Schultz flavor. <laughs> Peter Schultz. Like it doesn't have like a fruity flavor. It just is like sweet. Is it fun? It's a lot of fun. I'm having a blast. The Jolly Ranchers are amazing. The problem with this not having a stick is I'm scared that if I suck a little too hard, it might like go and right. Choke on it. I'm, no, I might it'll choke on it. It'll slide right down your gullet. Don't! Oh my God! <laughs> Well, Gary, thank you for uh, sharing your snacks. Yes. Thank you for eating my snacks. Guys, expand your snack world. Try Russian snacks. Try dried fish. Don't try dried fish. Do whatever you want. Das Vidanya!